meteorologist Mary Watson and as we wrapped up another month, it was a hot one out there. In fact, we had 10 triple digit days and on average our high temperatures or our temperatures in general were in the top five spot there at 84.1 degrees. There you go. Top five. If you want to go to the uh, hottest September ever, just a couple years ago of 2019 at 85.7 degrees. So we again had 10 triple digit days, five new records and five days that were below normal. That's it. So most of the month was definitely warmer than where we should be. The good news is we have some changes on the way, a pattern shift, if you will, with a strong front. Now this front's not going to arrive until midweek, but look even ahead of the front, we'll see the rain chances is building Tuesday with a 20% Wednesday about 60. The front comes through Wednesday into Thursday time frame and then the rain chance goes down, but the cooler weather settles in for the weekend. Here's what you can expect on Monday. Some showers to the south, some showers up to our north and west. And then as we head into your Tuesday, we'll get in on the action. Just a few isolated showers again about 20%, but that front approaching the Lone Star State pushing through uh, on Wednesday into Thursday. This is Wednesday at seven o'clock. This particular forecast model still has the heavier rain to our north, but it does become a little more widespread early Thursday morning, continuing through about midday and then pushing towards the south by Thursday afternoon. Now keep in mind this could change a little bit earlier in the week or earlier in the day on Thursday or a little bit later. So of course we'll keep you updated, but I think the front will be well to our south by Friday and we're going to stick around with some cloud cover and slightly cooler temperatures. Rain totals, we could see anywhere between one and two inches with isolated amounts a little bit higher than that. Not drop busting rain, but definitely heading in the right direction. That is something we are looking forward to and compared to last week's drought monitor, we've had We've made a few more improvements along the I-35 corridor, but definitely could see more. And as we head into the next 10 days, temperatures are going to be, or, or precip, excuse me, likely above average across parts of Texas and temperatures likely below. Overnight tonight, upper 60s to near 70 degrees, afternoon highs in the low 90s. But look at the end of the week with highs in the 70s to near 80 degrees with those breezy north winds Friday, Saturday and Sunday.